All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello everyone, this is Etienne with Bladebridge and today I'll be demoing our SQL converter specifically to convert Teradata scripts into Databricks PySpark. Um, before I start, a little something about Bladebridge. We're a company that specializes in the automation of ETL and code conversion. Um, so let's get started. Anything that you will need will be directly on our portal. So you'll need an executable, a configuration file, and um, your inputs and then your outputs. Um, I'll speak a little bit more about our configuration files a little bit later. But here at Bladebridge, we chose to externalize most of the conversions directly in a configuration file to allow our clients to um, choose how they want to convert things. We didn't want our clients to work in a black box solution. We really wanted people to have the liberty of choosing how they wanted to convert certain um, things. So let's get started. I always create a folder with everything that I need. So all my configuration needed for conversion will be right here. I'll go into more detail about those later. And then I always create a bat file which has all the commands for my command line in order to run conversion. So let me open this up and we can go over each command before we look at the inputs. Here, um, I just set some environmental variables, environment uh, var variables in order to um, simplify this bat command here. Here is my executable, which you can have, we can download directly from our portal. Our license file, which we will provide to you given that you want to use our services, uh, uh, products, and our, um, where we want to output the um, code. The configuration file, which in this case is Teradata to Databricks. And then the D the option is for convert everything in a specific folder. I'm also redirecting the output to a log file just so I know what's going on during conversion. That's not something you have to worry about. So let's get started. We will convert Teradata um, scripts Anything that has BTEC commands, as this. So create table. We will see exactly how this converts um, later on. Also some fast export commands from Teradata. Some mload commands, update and delete insertions. And we can also, let's open up a proc. We'll open this proc up. So this, and maybe another sample that we can look at specifically. So this creates a procedure and we have the entire procedure here. Again, you, will, you're, you are able to download this exact package from our portal. So then if you want to go through this by yourself afterwards, you can definitely do that. So with my bat command, I just go to my command prompt. And all I need to do is call this bat file that I've created right here. So all I need to do here is td2dbk.bat. And here we go. As you can see, it set our environment variables here. And then it ran the command for the for conversion right here. So let's look at it right now. So we have all of our outputs for all of um, our fold right here. So let's take a look at the same um, files that we were looking at. So the btech.py. If you can recall, this was this file right here. We created a table with a primary index, and we had other commands here. This was converted to this, where we created a widget for our file location. And set our user, and here it is, the create table.
Cool. Let's move on to the second one, the fast export. Here. So we are creating um, we are creating widgets for the file locations in this specific example. And here we are our SQL script. Our hello. And the M load is right here. So as you can see, there's there's a lot that goes into these conversions. But just to keep it simple here today, um, we will just look at the input and output. I also go over um, the specific configuration file, things that you can change and are that are customizable. Cool. Well, as you can see, all the content of all of the folder was converted into PySpark, um, formatted for Databricks. And if we look at our main configuration file, right here at Teradata Databricks, we will see that we have a consolidate um, statements. Um, this will um, consolidate all the variables declarations to the beginning of our file. Hence why in our output we had all of our so as you can see here we have our M load and then we consolidated at the very top all, of, all the widgets. In this case it was only one at the top. Same thing happened at for the for the BTEC and the fast export. This was customizable. This this is due to this specific command that consolidates all the variable declaration at the beginning of our, of our output file. Um, so um, our converters work in um, different manners. Um, so depending on what we convert, um, we might have a different approach. Um, but all of these uh, mostly have a pre-scan routine, which will scan the code, take, take the things that we need in order to uh, store them and then later convert in the conversion. Um, we also have line and block substitution, which um, is used to specify specific and function substitution. So we specify specific functions, uh, patterns working with rejects, uh, or, or patterns in blocks in order to, to substitute to the correct output. Um, we also accept inheritance, so our file will inherit characteristic of other files so a good practice and what most of our clients do is that they will inherit from our out-of-the-box solution and will add on top of it or override some things um, that they wish to change um, so this is all that I have for you guys today I hope that um, you guys learned a lot and uh, you want to learn more about our Blavage products so thank you and have a good one